What's up you guys? Uh, we're back in the house. I was here earlier. I just had to run out and get something real quick. So I actually did some more cleanup. So I think it's gonna end up looking pretty good. Uh, sorry, it's kinda, kinda shaky. Uh, I don't have the gimbal set up because I'm not, not shooting that long. Um, so I didn't think it was worth uh, grabbing it. So if you watched last video, oh, I'm gonna show you this. This is gonna be cool. This is gonna be a, a big transformation here. Is this that, uh, that front porch? I don't know if I got a good clip of it yesterday, but uh, not bad, you know, considering it cleaned up. I took down the, uh, there's a, a big drape thing hanging there. Um, this window over here, I don't know if it's busted. It's got duct tape all over it, so I'm assuming it's not in, not in that great a condition. Um, but I did, I cleaned up the, uh, I, I cleaned up in here. I don't know, hopefully the light's a little better today. Uh, so maybe the footage won't be as grainy. Uh, but granted, I say that and then I didn't turn on any of the lights. So <laughs> I guess we'll see. Uh, so yeah, there was, there was stuff all over through here. Uh, I can't remember if I filmed before I cleaned up or after. I probably filmed before yesterday before I cleaned up. Um, so I did some cleanup and clean up there and then I uh, ended up uh, uh, doing some more this morning. But I cut, the, I cut the carpet open on the stairs because I want to see what the floor was like. I'm like, oh, this is probably going to be uh, probably going to be savable, which is really nice um, because I, I mean, as you can see here, the floor is great uh, right here next to the door. Uh, you, you know, it's warm, but this was not really from the water damage, um, which I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up. But there's um, this is also part of the water damage from that where that roof was leaking. Um, you know, it, it's on the arch in here. I uh, got the paint peeling and some mold growing and then uh, right there on uh, the roof and that's where that that hole is. That's why that uh, step ladder is over there um, So that was mean. This is mainly just from use. It's not even from the water, you know, because that was like a lot of water sitting on there uh, The floor actually may have buckled in uh, but it's looking pretty good right now uh, The fireplace cleaned up nice and I don't know if we're gonna leave this or paint it Honestly, I, I might paint it. We're not really in an area where like this natural stone. We're not in Colorado So like this this isn't really like the look right now. Um, uh, but over here, uh, cleaned up. I, I, you know, all the stuff came off the bookends. My mom uh, showed up right after I, I filmed yesterday, um, and helped me clean, which is uh, which is really really nice. Uh, this uh, the kitchen cleaned up pretty good. Uh, let me see if I can turn the light on. It's over on this switch here. Um, then I'll also turn on this uh, Makita light here. I'm um, trying to give it a little a little bit better there. Um, you know, it, it's looking good. You know, I, I, think, I think it looks a lot better. Um, you know, I did pull up this part. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the light for this, uh, just so you can see. Uh, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to save the floor underneath this uh, just sheet linoleum here. Um, you know, it's gonna be kind of a butt to, to, excuse me, kind of a pain about to pull up. I might try to rip up uh, a, a bigger section of it just to kind of see if it is gonna be savable, but we'll kind of see from here. But what's exciting, is it over here uh, between the, so this is the kitchen. Uh, yes, they have another door for the kitchen. And then this over here is the living room. Uh, you can see the table where I set my tools on. This floor is just in the hallway and the bathroom's over there just to orient yourself. The uh, floor, as you can see, runs from the uh, living room all the way, uh, well, past the trash can into that bedroom down there and it all runs straight. So I'm like, oh, I'll pull this up to see if it's savable. And this one actually is a little bit more stuck down than the other one is. So I'm not going to be able to pull it off my finger there. But the floor runs, uh, you know, it runs continuously all the way through. So my hope is that like maybe if I can get this up without like damaging it, then it might be able to be saved because, you know, even though it was a hallway and got a lot of, got a lot of use right before on the floor where it also got a lot of use, it's not terribly worn, you know, like obviously it could be cleaned, you know, I'm tracking mud and stuff in here. So some of that's probably for me, um, but that's really exciting that we might be able to save that. Um, and then also, also what we did today, I didn't film cause I didn't bring a truck, excuse me, oh, sorry, my hand was in the way. Uh, I didn't film this cause I didn't bring a, didn't bring a tripod. So, you know, and, and in this point, I, uh, I am trying to fix the house and I'm like, filming like kind of, but I'm like kind of not filming at the same time because I am trying to get this house finished. Uh, so, you know, I went out and changed the locks. This is a, an interesting door, which I didn't realize yesterday. So it's like a little half door here. So, you know, if you want to 
just have a, a nice open area to the porch. And then this, this, that door opened somehow. I got it open yesterday, but I don't remember how I got it open. Um, so that, that door actually opens again with the wire mesh. I think I showed you that yesterday, which is interesting. Not the wire. Yeah. Chicken wire, chicken wire over there. I thought that was kind of interesting, but I think this door is kind of cool. You know, like realistically, I don't, I don't know if, if this was my house, if I would, if I was going to live here, if I would want that there, because I think it's weird to have a bedroom with the door to the exterior to it. And then over in the bathroom, I actually, I was going to film in there when I was talking about this, but uh, it's really echoey. So I can't, I actually had a guy come by to look into reglazing the entire, uh, the sides of the, uh, the, the tile on the wall, as well as the tub, which is really disgusting and uh, the tile around the shower. And the first thing he said is like, oh, this tub is great. It's a great looking tub. I can totally fix this. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually scrape the silicone off the tub and the, you know, the shower uh, and the tile around, and then he can go ahead and uh, you know, actually do the reglazing. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive than it would be for me to like rip it all out and like tub, and tile and everything out and then replace it with like a fiberglass around. But the time it's gonna save me is like him just doing that, uh, you know, and me spending one day scraping silicone off as opposed to like, it's probably gonna take me two weeks to like gut the entire bathroom and put it back together. And I've got to do the plumbing and all that other stuff. And it just, it, it's just a time thing at this standpoint. So we're probably gonna go that route but I've got to get all that silicone scraped off. And if I have any cool parts of the clip, I tried recording these here, uh, just so you can kind of see what he was saying. Uh, granted, it's not like pointed at him or anything. I don't want to make him feel weird. But uh, if there's anything cool that like, you know, it, the camera picked up, I'll go ahead and play that just so you guys can kind of see, you know, what it's like to have like a professional tile reglazer come in and, you know, look at your bathroom. This is a good tub. I can make, you know, I make this tub brand new. And so also another thing about the bathroom, I don't know if the, the clip picked this up. I'll obviously know when I'm editing this video, but uh, I don't know right now, <clears throat> but I want to go ahead and say this is that uh, the guy that was coming to, to reglaze the tile, he was saying that instead of just going all the way up and then doing white, uh, you know, this whole thing white. Uh, so just imagine it being uh, bright white is that we actually could, uh, instead of uh, him masking it from here up and it's all being white is that he could mask from here down and then leave the black black you know obviously that would depend on all these black tiles being in good condition uh, you know as of right now they look okay uh, this one might be a little correct no that one's that one's fine um, so that could look really cool to have a bright white yeah, you know, uh, the, the, the the pink tile and the tub, and then just have that black accent around. You know, that's not necessarily the style we're going for the rest of the house. You know, this is this is an interesting style house, not normally one that we typically do. It's got a lot of, uh, you know, very unique features like that. But I thought it's definitely something to consider, uh, you know, with the, with, with the black tile as opposed to just making it all white. Uh, you, you know, and I think it would go well with, uh, you know, this square floor, which I mean, realistically, we'll probably end up leaving it just because it's totally fine and you know, it's not really uh you know worth replacing something that's you know kind of unique and kind of cool and it's totally fine you know if it was like uh you know broken or you know i don't know how this looks me filming in this dirty mirror uh you know if it was broken or uh cracked or whatever you know if the, the floor was sagging or whatever that's that's a totally different story but uh, it's something to consider. You know, I'd like to know your comment, or excuse me, I'd like to know your thoughts down in the comments. Uh, you know, uh, the video from yesterday probably just dropped as I'm filming this one. It'll be interesting to see what people's comments on the floor is. Um, but, you know, if you think that having, sorry, my nose is running because it's, uh, the heater's not on, so it's very cold in here. It's actually warmer outside than it is in the house. Um, so I'd like to know your thoughts on, you know, if you would go ahead and do this all white, uh, you, you know, the whole thing, or cut it here and then imagine, you know, the back being obviously not all nasty right now, the back being clean and nice and then having the rest of it be all white. So if you go ahead and let me know your thoughts in the comments, that would be really cool. Also, while you're down there commenting about the uh, your thoughts on the bathroom, it'd be really cool if you'd hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm to push this video. That'd really help me out. Also, if you'd like to go ahead and hit the subscribe button to support the channel, that would be really cool.
So uh, with that time lapse, sorry it's echoing, echoey in here. Uh, obviously it's a, it's a bathroom. I, you know, I don't know if you remember what it was before. I don't know if I got a good shot of that, uh, but this is what I was working on, just scraping. You know, granted, it's not perfect. Um, like there's still some residue here and you can feel it. Um, you know, I'm able to get up my finger. My razor blade, uh, you know, got dull when I was working on it because um, I had that the razor blade and then that, uh, that red scraper tool thing. But like, this is what I was working on versus this is what it looked like before. So, you know, this is actually really, really good. Um, and this tile's in good condition. Uh, you know, it's not cracked, it's solid. Uh, it doesn't appear to be, you know, water damage behind it. Uh, you know, this is looking a little a little gross down here, but you know, I guess we'll kind of see, uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see what this, this looks like after I take off all the silicone and, you know, change the handles. So this really has a lot of potential, especially for like not a ton of money uh, in order to fix like realistically, you know, this isn't the style we're going for, but this is almost almost good enough to where like we almost could leave it. You know, we're gonna be, uh, you know, obviously changing it somehow just because it's not like current and modern, but I'm just really impressed with how this turned out. Uh, from the tile guy, I don't, like I said before, I don't really know what clips, uh, you know, are usable, especially because I'm just using my iPhone audio. So I don't really know what you can hear. Uh, you know, from what he was saying, but basically they have to have all this stuff off of there. Because typically when they do uh, tile reglazings, it doesn't look, it, you know, it doesn't look, sorry, I'm standing in the light. It doesn't look like this when they start out. It's, you know, maybe like this, um, you know, and the, there's just the standard silicone down at the tub, it, you know, and it's pretty gross. You know, over the last two days of being here at the house, uh, it, it's actually kind of nice. You know, it, it cleaned up really nice. It looks really good. Uh, in terms of like getting all the junk out. Like it's in a lot better condition than I thought it was gonna be. So, you know, I was a little nervous definitely starting out, but as we're doing more and more on the house, uh, you know, cleaning it up and looking at the floors and, you know, finding stuff like it's really in not bad condition, uh, except for the heater, which I'll show that clip now. Uh, and it's, it's basically funny because it's, uh, what does it say, 1957, uh, which, uh, that heater's uh, that heater's pretty old, considering that it's uh, not that much older than the house is, uh, which is funny. But hopefully you enjoyed today. You know, this is basically what I did today. I'm going to do some more things like, you know, go to Home Depot and some other stuff like that. But like we know in the past, it's not a promise that I'm going to remember to film because it's definitely something that I'm not used to. So not something I typically think of. But hopefully you enjoyed this. Like I said, I'd love to know your thoughts on... Um, you know, before, like if, if you like the black, the black with like all white, or if you just think all white would look good. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day. If you have not yet, go ahead and hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you wanna go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that would really help support the channel and help me grow and get these videos out to more people. But I hope you enjoyed, I'll catch you tomorrow.